So when we talked about doing this tour, we did a tour last year on, on the Stonewall Jackson Valley campaign. And the reason that you study history is this is something that Christians should do. Every Christian has an obligation to understand history. And I use that strong of a language because the Bible, so much of the Bible is spent on history. And we're not just supposed to understand the history of the Jews. We're supposed to understand our own history. God doesn't just work in Israel, he also works in America. So one of the, one of the things that happens and that we should consider is a lot of times we can look at hardships and say hardships bring us down. He lost Lawrence, he lost George, or he lost Augustine. When you consider this, these hardships, we need to understand that hardships, God a lot of times uses hardships to prepare us for greater things. And so when we have hardships, we should look to how can we use this to be prepared for a greater thing, to do the work of God. And so on June 17th, the British come out and attack the Americans on Bunker Hill as they're fortified to siege the British in the town of Boston. The British, they charge several times. The Americans stand on the ground in their fortifications and they drive them back two times. The third time they're finally able to drive the Americans off the hill, but they have had heavy casualties. Over 1,000 men were killed and wounded, which was about one third of their army in Boston. We need to remember what monuments are. God tells us to set up Ebenezer stones. It's so that the previous generation can tell the next generation what was important. And as we look at things, as you look at a monument, you shouldn't just go, wow, that's neat, that's really big, it's really tall. You should walk around and say, why would they have put the things that they put on there? Because the things they put on there are there because they want to tell us something. They want to teach us something. This is our forefather saying, this is what you should know.